welcome to our course Google App Engine, where you can build a scalable web and mobile backend in any languages on your Google infrastructure. Our Google App Engine is a cloud computing platform for hosting your web application and existing Google infrastructure. It's easy to scale, manage, and free to use up a predefined consumed resources and it supports your Java as well. So this Google App Engine works for all the particular applications we generally create. It can use a model built web and mobile applications on any open source cloud platform where you can bring your own language runtimes, frameworks, and the third party libraries. Google App Engine is fully managed platform that completely abstracts away infrastructure so you can focus only on the code. Go from zero to planet scale and see some of the today's most successful companies power their applications on your app engine. It also has a support for all language communities. Out of the box, your application engine supports your Node.js, Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Go, Python, and PHP languages. But the developer from this language community can be productive immediately in a familiar environment. So they need to just add the codes. Hence, the future of the cloud is completely open, where the developers reject the proprietary tools that lock them into a platform and the technology with the artificial constraints. They need something different out of the box, which supplies your own Docker images or bring your own custom software stock from your language runtimes to framework to third party libraries. So, do you need to move your applications to different platforms? Take your applications with you and deploy it into a container based system like your Kubernetes or on-premises or a private cloud or a public cloud where you just need to add a code where nothing gets between you and shipping high quality code and offload infrastructure concerns like scaling your app up or down to handle your traffic, load balancing, health checking and your healing your instances and applying updates to the underlying operating systems as it is a fully managed on your behalf by the Google itself where you have an infrastructure when you need it. So it is also called as an on-demand services, where you enjoy a fully managed developer experience, or you can drop down into an infrastructure for high control where you need it. You can also SSH your systems directly into an instance to deploy your custom code and manage containers or integrated application engine into your DevOps process. You can specify your app, CPU, and memory requirements and app engines will automatically provision the infrastructure on your behalf. It also provides you an end-to-end -end compute for any of the workloads, where the larger companies with an existing or legacy applications run in hybrid, often multi-cloud environment where applications may be deployed to your virtual machines, containers, or your fully managed platforms. Your Google Cloud platform excels in the diverse environment and lets your application communicate with very low latency on your Google's world-class network infrastructure to support any of the workload. And also it's growing your ecosystem of the services. But the application engine is designed for you to tap into your growing ecosystem of managed services, just an API call away. Choose from your SQL or NoSQL databases, monitoring and diagnostic tools, popular services like CloudPath and a range of greater development tools on your GCP, that is your Google Cloud Platform. So moving back to your application engine features, it is having a popular languages where we can work on. So you can build your applications in your Node.js, Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Go Python, and bring your own language runtime. It is open and flexible. So you can customize your runtimes, allow you to bring your any of your library and framework to your app engine by supplying a Docker container. It is fully managed so that your environment lets you focus on the code while App Engine manages your infrastructure concerns. But it also provides you a monitoring, logging, and diagnostics, where a Google Stock Drive gives you a powerful application diagnostic tool to debug and monitor the health and the performance of your applications. So application versioning is again available so that you can easily host different versions of your application and easily create a development that is your staging, testing, and production environments. Next, you have that is your traffic splitting, where it provides you a root incoming request to different application versions, as we can say A or B test, and do the incremental features rollouts. And also, it provides you a feature that is service ecosystems, 
where you can tap on growing ecosystems or GCP service from your application, including an excellent suite of your Google developer tools. Now here in this video, we are going to talk about your Java app engine standard environment. So the standard environment is based on the container instance running on your Google infrastructure. So these containers are pre-configured with one or more several available runtimes. That's your Java 7, Java 8, Python 2.7, Go, and PHP. Each runtime also includes your library that supports your app engine standard APS. For many applications, the standard environment, runtimes, and the library might be all you need. The application standard environment make it easy to build and deploy an application that runs reliably even under heavy load and with your larger amount of data. It includes the following features such as persistent storage with queries, sorting, and your transactions, automatic scaling, and your load balancing. Asynchronous task queues for performing work outload the scope of requests. Scheduled tasks for triggering events at specified times or regular intervals. It also provides the integration with the other Google Cloud service and your APS. So this application runs in secure sandbox environment, which allows your App Engine standard environment to distribute requests across multiple servers and scaling servers to meet your traffic demands. Your application runs within its own secure, reliable environment that is independent of the hardware, operating systems, or any physical location of the servers. We have a software development kit called as SDKs for the application engine are available in all supported languages. Each SDK includes all the API and the library available to your app engine. A simulated, secure sandbox environment that emulates all the App Engine services on your local computer. It also contains the deployment tools that allows you to upload your application to the cloud and manage different versions of your application. This SDKs manage your application locally while the Cloud Computing Platform Console manages your application in the production. The Cloud Platform Console uses a web-based interface to create new application, configure your domain names, Change which version of your application is live, examine access and error logs, and much more. So in next video, we are going to talk about the instance classes which we can use for your Java-based environment on your GAE. Here in this video, we are going to talk about your Java on your Google App Engine. Your App Engine offers you a choice between the two environments of your Java applications. That is a flexible environment and the standard environment. Both the environment have the same code-centric developer workflow. Scale quickly and efficiently to handle your increasing demand and enable you to use your Google proven serving technology to build your web, mobile, and your IoT applications quickly with minimum operations overhead. So your Java flexible environment allows your developers to focus on doing what they do best, that is your writing code. The App Engine flexible environment automatically scales your app up and down while balancing the load. Your microservices, authorization, SQL and NoSQL databases, traffic splitting logging, versioning, security scanning and a content delivery network are supported natively. In addition to this, your Google app has a flexible environment allows you to customize the runtime and even your operating system of your virtual machines using your Docker file. It provides you a runtime which is flexible environment including your native support of your Java 8, Servlet 3.1, Jetty 9, Python 2.7, and Python 3.5. As well as it also supports your Node.js, Ruby, PHP, .NET Core, and Go, where the developers can customize these runtimes or provide their own runtime by supplying a custom Docker image or Docker file for your open source community. Next is also supports your infrastructure customization. As we use your VM instance in your flexible environment or your Google Compute Engine virtual machines, you can take advantages of your custom libraries, use your SSH 
for debugging and deploy your own Docker containers. And also it provides you a better performance and you can take advantages of your wide array of your CPU and memory configurations. You can specify how much CPU and your memory to each instance you want to connect to run your applications and your flexible environment will provision the necessary infrastructure for you. Next is what exactly we are going to do into your application engine and how it manages your virtual machine. It ensures you that the instances are health checked and healed as necessary and it also co-locate with your other services within the project. It also ensures the critical backward compatibility updates which are automatically applied to your underlying operating systems. Your VM instances are automatically located by your geographical region according to the settings in your project. Your Google management service ensures that all the projects of your VM instance are located or co-located for your optimal performance. Your VM instances are again restarted on your weekly basis. So during restarts, Google's management services will apply any necessary operating system and security updates. You always have a root access to your compute engine VM instances. Your SSH access to your VM instance in a flexible environment is disabled by default. If you choose, you can also enable your root access to your application VM instances as well. So you can get started with all the application support of your GAE, that is a Go, Java 8, PHP, Python, .NET, Node.js, Ruby, and custom runtimes. So here we are at the path where we are going to create a new project for your application engine. So create a new project using a developer console which can be accessed at this particular URL which you can see on the screen. So this is a console that allows you to configure many different Google services. But in this particular video, we are going to focus on your application engine specific parts. So go there and create a new project where we will talk about installing the development environment a bit later on. So do not worry about that right now. While creating the project, you will be presented with the following dialog box, where you need to pay attention to the project ID, as the project ID must be unique and it has a certain naming restrictions, which we are going to see here. Having a project ID you are happy with, though, can be quite handy since you are going to access this application by using your URL which will be containing the same. So here I'm going to name my project as first project app engine project or we can also define first GAE project and then we are going to define a project ID. So this is the default project ID generally you are getting here. I'm going to define it as first and there are some different you know uh, restrictions which we need to follow that we have already discussed so this is a restriction we have that is project id can have lower case letters only digits or your hyphen are must start with your lower case letters so i'm going to define first sample hyphen app so this is my project id which i'm going to create if you want to add some number you can also add in such a way by using your hyphen if you're going to use uh, any other, uh, you can say, um, the symbols like your hyphen or other symbols. So you can see this kind of symbols are not allowed. So in symbols, you can only use your hyphen here. So I'm going to create this project now. So for looking at your project, we can move into your ABI project. And you can see these are the two, <coughs> and you can see these are the two projects which are available. As of now, I'm using your API project. If I want to select my first GA project, we can even select our first GA project and we can open it out. You can see it's showing you no API or services are enabled. For enabling your API and services, we can click over here. So here there are different services we have which we can enable an API for this particular application, which we are going to see into our next video. So now we have already registered an application project and we are almost ready to do some coding. But just before we do that, let us talk about supporting different devices for a while. One biggest challenge when designing a service side application today is that there are so many different devices available from so many different vendors. So different browsers, 
different smartphones, tablets, and computers are the multiple kind of devices generally we have as of now. So all having different APIs that should be used over here. And here initially we will use the browser for all the course project. But later we will be able to support a mobile phone without rewriting a single line of code as well. So having to consider this when you design your server side application, it's a lot of work here. So how can we solve this problem? Well, the Google Cloud Platform has solved this particular problem for you with the product called as a cloud endpoints. So when you use this cloud endpoint, you can create one single API for your server application called as cloud endpoint API. And this cloud endpoint can generate a cloud side application for many different devices for many different vendors as well. So this is a great feature because it allows you to focus just server side application and a cloud endpoint with make sure that it supports many different devices. You'll learn a lot more about the cloud endpoint since we will use it when we built our own course project. So enough said, we have created an application engine project using the developers console and looked at the benefits of the cloud endpoint. Now it's time for you to get development environment up and running. So into our next video, I'm coming up with more features and how we are going to run and code your applications. So keep watching and get upgraded.